I really don't know. I mean, people have all sorts of theories and how things have been affected by Facebook and Twitter and are you up with this? I am a media philistine, I have to say. I, I don't even have a cell phone. At least in Israel, I don't have a cell phone. Now, when I'm making a film, I have a cell phone with me, which I really don't know how to use. But I know things are changing rapidly and I should do my homework and keep up. I mean, I know people make uh, films on cell phones, they try and put their film out on, uh, on websites, they, they make films for screen and websites and organize, union organizations and so on. I'm not up with that. I mean, I'm still, as I told you, a Philistine and, you know, with one foot in the grave in a sense, in that I make films for television, I make films for a screen. I want a broad number of people to see it. And I want them to see it in a decent way. I, mean, I find it a bit peculiar that in the 50s, uh, when people worried about the future of film and television, oh my God, people are looking at television. Why don't they watch film? So film went bigger. It went to Cinemascope. It went to Todd AO. It went to Panavision. It went to 3D bigger and bigger. And now, it's sort of going in the opposite direction. We're coming down smaller and smaller. You know, you've got your your postage stamp viewer in a in a in an aeroplane. You can watch a film on your telephone, which is an inch square. Well, you can, but I, I love the beauty of a well shot film. You know, so you can see Lawrence of Arabia on an inch screen, but believe me, it's not the Lawrence of Arabia on a wide screen. So a, I think, obviously, I, I, I'm battling against the tide. And maybe what's happening is absolutely right, that more and more filmmakers should use multi-platforms to get their films out any which way. That's not my way. But I'm also worried about something else. And leaving out whether that's artistic or not is, is going to happen. But what worries me is that we filmmakers have to make a living. I just wrote a book called Succeeding in Documentary, uh, How to Stay Alive in the Professional World, which is by writing books that other people will read. Um, but you've got to, if you're a serious filmmaker, you want to earn a living with your films. And I'm very, very doubtful about how much money is going to come in from streamed films, from iPad films and so on. I'm probably absolutely wrong on this. I would love to see another thing that I've been totally, absolutely wrong. But for the moment, I cannot see much money being made in, this, in these new platforms. But I suspect I'm absolutely wrong on that. The thing has been, obviously, websites. That, that's been, I think, fundamental that you can put your film on the website. They'll see other films. I'm very wary of things like YouTube because what happens is you, you produce a film. You spend a year and a half at it. It's shown at one film festival, which is fine. And then somehow somebody's captured it and they put it up on YouTube or they put sections up on YouTube. You cannot sell it. Oh, it's there. Somebody's just pinched it, uh, pirated it. And you say, oh, it's good to the public. The public, uh, you know, uh, should, should be able to see this. Well, yeah, but not at my expense.